Would you live on one of the world's most active volcanoes? On Sakurajima in Japan's south, about 5,000 people do just that. The volcano is also just across the bay from the biggest city in the area, Kagoshima, home to about 600,000 people. The volcano regularly erupts, but it's also well monitored so tourists can visit the area and get up close. We decided we would stay at the one and only roadside rest stop on the volcano before heading off to climb a different volcano the next day. Hello, welcome back. We are on Sakodojima at the moment. It is the most active volcano in Japan. Tonight we are sleeping at a rest stop on the volcanic island and tomorrow we're going to be doing some hikes up some of the other peaks around this area. So come along for that. Sakurajima used to be an island, but became connected to the mainland from a large eruption in 1914. So now you can either drive or catch a ferry from the city. Before going to the rest stop for the night, we swung by one of the most relaxing attractions on the island. <laughs> it really doesn't get much better than this, does it? No. Like, it's a perfect day, crystal blue skies, and like there's a volcano like right there. And we're just sitting in these wonderful foot baths. I feel so relaxed right now. Yeah, it's pretty good. So after an incredibly relaxing foot bath, so relaxing, we have arrived at the Michinoeki as just one uh, roadside station that is on Sakurajima Island and um, that's where we'll be staying tonight. We're just having a really easy night so that we can be ready and prepared for tomorrow when we're going to be hiking which we haven't done for a long time we're feeling very unfit at the moment we've just been doing more like uh, <laughs> driving in the van and stopping and seeing places so <laughs> we'll see how we go. So the area that we're going hiking is about an hour and a half drive for where, from where we are now on Sakurajima. It's part of a national park, as is Sakurajima, and these mountains are also volcanoes, so hopefully we'll be able to see some really, really beautiful scenery there. We finished the night with a quick feed from the convenience store, and because there's not much happening on the volcano, we had a nice early night. Good morning, it is the next day and we have woke up and are on the way to Evino Plateau which is where the volcanoes are that we'll be hiking today. We woke up this morning and it was a little cloudy and it had been raining during the night so we'll have to see what the conditions are like. Do you want to say what you just said again? I said we've made a grave mistake coming here. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's really cold. This is what we've rocked up to. There's two other crazy people over there, ready to hike. I think... Maybe it's... maybe... what do you think? Two degrees? Oh, we should check the car, hey? Let's see. The moment of truth. Oh. What? Minus one? That's the first time we've ever seen minus. All right, we're getting all our thermals out because it's <laughs> a bit colder than expected up here. The highest mountain which we're climbing today, which is Kadokuni Dake, is 1,700 meters above sea level. So that gives you a bit of an idea of how high we're at. Not too high, but you know, it is winter time, so <laughs> it's a bit cold. Recording. Why do you still have your mask on? It's keeping my face warm. <laughs> Alright, we're on the way. We're starting the hike. We're actually... Oh, I don't know about you, Woi, but now that I've got all my thermals on, I feel pretty fine. Yeah, it's not bad. No, although we did just see this crazy... 
crazy person, a guy start going up the mountain just before us in like shorts and a little jumper and he was obviously doing like a trail run so he is number one a lot fitter than us and number two just a lot more ganky than us <laughs> we're not gonna do that nope. <laughs> um so we're starting and there is quite a bit of white stuff falling in the air we're not sure if it's like kind of sleet or some ash from the volcano. I don't know. Anyways. Or dandruff. Dandruff? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oi. What's this here? What? Huh? What's this here? Oh, you know, it's the typical um, oh. box which contains the hiking. Registra. Registra. Can you get into it? No, it's a, it's a puzzle box apparently. You have to be smart to hide. I swear it's not, I swear that's locked. I swear this is... You're so smart. Mm. <laughs> I just wanted to show, this is what I was talking about. All this white stuff. All this dandruff. Oh. That's sleep. It's definitely sleep. That's sleep. Oh, oh okay. Yep. Well, yeah, you're... That's how cold it is, folks. <laughs> it's sleeting. We've come upon a pretty nice view. 10 out of 10, wouldn't you say? Yeah. We should be looking at Mount Iwo Crater. Not today. <laughs> today is Mount Cloud. Starting to hurt a little bit. Let me put the beanie back on. Oh, oh my god, look at your beard! What? It's got like um kind of icicles in it. I thought it felt like that. <laughs> well it's cold. It's cold. Okay, let's go. We've yep. got 600 meters. I said I can't feel my ears. Oh, you should have put your beanie on earlier. Would you like to see a booger fall out my nose? No! <laughs> God! <laughs> so we've made it back down to this, uh, you remember this before? from before? The Crater Observatory. And look, we can see now. It's amazing. All right, boss. I've done it. We're at the bottom. It's time to go. This is the, the locker where we started. So it's time to eat some ramen in the car. We actually hiked it all the way up with the hot water and everything, but um, it was just too cold, too windy at the top. Like, it felt like if we'd stayed any longer, it would have been pretty bad. Um, so we'll eat some ramen. Thank God. And then we'll go to Nonsen, which uh, is in this area. It looks very quaint. Hopefully I can put some pictures up because it looks really beautiful. And the two indoor ones are gender separated. But then the outdoor one is mixed so Ro and I can have a bath together. at the onsen luckily we had some hot water left from the ramen 
Ah, oh, so we had a peppermint tea. It's not gonna focus, love. Focus! <laughs> okay, it says peppermint tea and some snacks. Also, we were really, really lucky that when we arrived at the onsen, there was no one else here. So we were able to get a few quick shots of the outside lock temple or the outdoor bath, and the inside women's bath as well. Um, it was lovely. It was super sulfur based, so like we had to kind of wash off after so we didn't have a rotten egg smell. But the water was beautiful, the like temperature was beautiful. Um, but yeah, that wraps up this, this whole trip around Kagoshima and all these uh, volcano areas. We really hoped you enjoyed coming along um, and we will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> and like. Alright, bye.